Okay, here's question five. As always, pause the video to have a go at the question if you haven't had a go already. That way you'll get the most out of it. Okay, question five. It is a transformation shape. Describe fully the single transformation which takes shape B onto shape C. Now, with transformations, uh, this is just a one-off question, so there's, there's no sort of clues to what it could be. Um, the sort of transformations we should be uh, thinking about here are a rotation, a reflection, a translation, or an enlargement or enlargement. Okay, when you're describing each of these, you need to do certain things. First of all, you've got to say the word. Quite often, I see people they they describe that transformation, but they don't actually say what it is. So they'll just say um, um, 90 degrees clockwise, about such and such, without actually saying it's a rotation, or they just to give the line of reflection without saying it's a line of reflection. These with this three marks, one mark for this question is to say what it is. Now this one is a rotation. I'll just show you. When you're looking for a rotation, it's best to use trace. Some people can see this straight away, but it's best to use a bit of tracing paper. If you trace one shape, so we're going to try to take shape B onto shape C. So there's shape B. If you trace that and then spin it around, you can see it fits onto shape C. Okay. Now to figure out where where it's going to where it's going to do that, you can when you trace one shape, you can put your pen on a point you put a pen on a point and then spin the piece of paper around see if it matches I can't really do that here this only allows me to do it on the actual point it's cor correct on so um, when you get the right points it will fit nicely like it does here okay so that will help you work out what it is you should be able to tell if it's a rotation, reflection, or translation. Translation is only the, the shape will be the same way up. Reflections means it's going to be back to front, and rotation. Well, that's clearly a rotation. Things we've got to remember about each of these rotations: we need to do the angle and direction, and the point about which it rotates. Those are the three things: the name, the angle, and direction and the point of rotation. A reflection, we're just using, looking for the name and the line of reflection, so the equation, something like x equals 4, or y equals 3, or if it's a diagonal 1, y equals x, something like that. A translation, you're looking for the name and we're looking for a vector, so something like 5, 2, if it was sliding across 5 and up 2. And then enlargement, we're looking for the word enlargement, and then a center, of enlargement and then we're looking for a scale factor that will give you three marks but this one is a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise about the point four three three marks